Hey, Looper Nation, this is the original Looper, Joe Quattrochi, representing the Garden State. You're listening to Ohio's own Tim Scott and Bob Collar. It's time to stand clear of those doors, because the resortloop.com starts now. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. While your group is together, now is a great opportunity to pick a time and place to meet should you become separated in the park. Hey, welcome everybody. This is Exciting ResortLoop.com, episode number 77. I'm Tim 77. Scott. 77. 77. Sorry, I stepped all over you. No. <laughs> Why stop now? We talk over each other all the time. Who are you? Exactly. <laughs> I went. My favorite thing for 77, Bob, I'm just getting right into it. Yes. Interstate 77, oh. which is what I take a lot of the way down when I go to Florida. Absolutely. I think that's uh, that stretch of road is the only stretch of road I have seen every inch of. In that's my life. true. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There is not any section of that that we have not seen. I know it like um, the back of my hand. Yes, yes. Fortunately or unfortunately, however that goes. So, And uh, very uh, slippery right now with uh, all the freezing rain and crazy stuff we've had this uh, today. So, Oh, it's been, a, it's been a weird few days around here. Oh, my gosh. I know. Uh, I got a couple of shout outs before we get started here, Tim. Great. Uh, if I may. You may. Um, uh, concerning our episode 76, our last episode, uh, Lisa Green, who goes by at Life of Green on the Twitter. Oh, love Lisa. Uh, she, she sent us a little uh, shout out. Uh, she said, episode 76, nice job. Listened while I ran. Needed it to be about 18 minutes longer. Oh. <laughs> so, um, uh I, I kind of said, well, Lisa, uh, maybe you need to just run faster. I don't know. <laughs> Is that I, wrong? Is I saw that, that. You know, maybe it has like a half speed where she could just <laughs> play it at half the speed and it would last for the whole run. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, I told her, uh, you know, to make sure she, uh, you know, consults her doctor, obviously, uh, when listening to our show. Surprisingly so, uh, enough, we don't give out <laughs> medical advice on this show. <laughs> uh, and people are much safer because of that. So uh, she's, she said uh, there are a, lo- a lot of listening rules to our shows. Uh, stand clear of the doors. Consult your doctor. I mean, uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, Lisa, thanks so much for listening and, and uh, uh, letting us help you stay in shape. Um, and then, uh, real quick, uh, Terry Pritchard, Mr. Pritchard on the Twitter. Yes. Um, uh, he said what you had said off air prior to uh, uh, us going on air about 76. That's because he great said, minds think alike. Well, and then so do you and Terry. So, oh, uh, he's, wow. He said, we uh, can gang up on se- him, Terry. It's, all, it's fine. 76 trombones lead the big parade. So. Right. And, and it's like a make- 101 rib bones right behind or something like that. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's how it goes. Oh, well, you sing your yeah. version, I'll sing mine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all I got, Tim. What's the show going to be about today? Well, today's show, you know, we had talked earlier today, and we were like, you know, it's been a while. We've not done a uh, rewind, remove, or refurb for a while. Yeah, I was kind of avoiding that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You act like it's painful. <laughs> Well, since you hooked the buzzer up to a, uh, the uh, electric shock, it's, it, <laughs> it has been. But uh, So we went to the resortloop.com random number generator. Yes. And pulled a name from the uh, official looper list. Love the looper list. And up came Jason Osborne from Oklahoma. Hey, Jason. Woo! Hi, Jason. Hello, hello. hello. Very, uh, very excited to have you on. The inspiration for the Osborne Family Lights, yes? Uh, not quite. Oh, I love uh, your, I love your I music. Guess. Crazy Train is fantastic. <laughs> is is your dad Aussie? I don't. No, 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 no. Oh. Man, I am just missing. It, okay? <laughs> so, but yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for joining us, Jason. This is very cool. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for having me. And uh, where where are you listening from? Uh, from Owasso, Oklahoma. Very nice. Wow. What We're, do you do out uh, there in Oklahoma? Where is that at? Yeah. Uh, it's just north of Tulsa. So, and we're about a hundred miles away from Oklahoma City. So, no, oh, okay. Thunder fan. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Very good. Uh, well, thanks for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Um, 
I will I will try and deflect uh, as much of Tim's <laughs> anger as possible. Uh, yeah, I'm a very angry man. <laughs> Jason, I don't know if that comes across. <laughs> I have issues. <laughs> All right, I'm a little nervous, Tim. Where are you taking us tonight? Well, okay, Jason can admit to this. We do not talk about this before the show. Nobody, that is correct. I'm the only one that knows where we're going. I know. Today, we're going to the Disney's Hollywood Studios. Woohoo! And we are going to be removing, I'm sorry, rewinding, removing, or refurbing, not rehabbing, Sunset Boulevard. Sunset Boulevard. Yes. Okay. Oh. Uh, Gentlemen. Sunset Boulevard. Okay, now wait a minute. Yes. Wait a minute. Huh? Sunset Boulevard. Sunset has Boulevard. It has. Beauty and the Beast the, live on stage. Yes, it does. Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. You're good. Uh, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Right. Fantasmic. The Nighttime Spectacular. And then all the eating places. A bunch of eating places, yeah. I think we might only del- delve into maybe one or two of those. Oh, and there might really? be a bonus at the end. I'm just going to say there might be a bonus. Ooh, man! I tell you what, you're 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 treading on some uh, pretty sacred ground here. I gotta say. Oh, hey, go big or go <laughs> home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Jason. Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Guest starts first. We're going okay. to go. We're jumping to the stage show. Beauty and the Beast live on stage. Do you rewind it, remove it, or refurb it? And those are your only three choices. Oh. I, w- I would probably have to go with some kind of a refurb. Uh, the movie's maybe a little bit out of its prime. Uh, maybe go into one of the, the newer shows. Maybe, uh, you know, Rapunzel or, or something like that. Ooh. Um, That's good. That, that, that'd, be, that'd be what I would go for. I, I kind of like that. That is fantastic. I didn't even think of Rapunzel. Everybody wants Rapunzel other than just a, a bathroom. That that would be fantastic. Bob, what are you thinking? I, I'm still I'm still in shock how great that <laughs> idea is. My gosh, that's that's fantastic. Um, I was gonna say I was gonna say remove it and replace it with uh, a, one of the other. Uh, stage shows, which um, my understanding, and I wish we would have had an opportunity to see it when we were in uh, at Disneyland, is uh, uh, Aladdin is supposed to be fantastic. I have heard that, yes. Um, and I wouldn't mind seeing, if you remember back in the day where, where uh, uh, Disney was moving different elements uh, around the different parks around the, the world. Uh, and we lost, uh, what did we lose? Um uh, Main Street Electrical Parade, uh, and that uh, what was the dinosaur? Remember the dinosaur that uh, wandered around, and it went to I oh, think Japan. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so get his name. Uh, Lucky was that Lucky? Yeah, that was I different. think it was Lucky. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind seeing uh, that kind of thing happen again, uh, especially with the uh, the stage shows, because it, it would be it would be great to see some some other things. I know it would be a, probably a huge expense. But uh, uh, that's what I would like to see. Or, as Jason has said, a, a brand new stage show. That would be awesome. I got to be honest, Rapunzel wasn't on my radar. Me neither. And Bob, you gave me a very well thought out, coherent answer. <laughs> Here it comes, Jason. However, all right. <laughs> there you go. Bob, you are wrong. Jason is, of course, correct. <laughs> I cannot go against Jason with the Rapunzel. No, that was brilliant. Beauty and the so Beast. That, is has, that a new kind of buzzer? I the, it was a little, <laughs> do, we, do we need a little louder so everyone gets the... Oh, I got the double dinger oh, there. Oh, jeez. Right. What was... Uh, ow. We're spending money here at resortloop.com. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it is the season. You got to have some bells in there. That's yeah. true. Exactly. An angel got its wings. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, Beauty and the Beast has been there since, I think, the, the day the movie actually opened. Yeah. I think it opened yeah. the same day the movie was actually initially released in the theater, so... Jason, Jason one, Bob zero. All right, uh, <laughs> and and of course Tim one. Well, so. that goes without saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome, guys. Uh, all right, we're gonna. I, I'll I'll. What do they call that seed? I will seed that uh, that point. Okay. Yes. 
Now we're moving on from a daytime show to the evening show. We're going to talk Fantasmic. Ooh. Same general area. Yes. Yeah. Jason, what do you think? Man. You can rewind a- it, remove it, or refurb it. This one's really tough for me. Oh. I would almost lean towards removing it just because kind of once you've seen it once, it's like you've seen it every time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what I would necessarily put in its place. Maybe, or maybe, I don't know. There's a lot of these new movies coming out. So maybe, maybe more along the lines of a reefer, bring in, in uh, maybe more of the villains. Uh, I know there's, there had been talks before of some sort of, um, you know, a more villain based type of park, maybe bringing in more, more of that for more of the nighttime. Most of the kids and things are asleep at that time of night anyways. So I don't know, maybe I'd have to go with some level of, you know, rethinking my idea to a, uh, a refurb to maybe even more dealing with villains than, uh, than what they have right now. Okay. That's a good call. Mm, I like that. I I am going to I am going to to um, uh, take Jason's vision of uh, uh, of replacing Beauty and the Beast with the Rapunzel. I like that. Uh, he has gone just completely out of the box with that. So I'm going out <laughs> of the box with Fantasmic. Are you ready for this? I'm sitting down. Are you sitting down, Jason? All right. All right. <clears throat> sitting down. Okay. All right. I am removing it as well because I agree. Once you've seen it, it's like eh, okay. You know, we we kind of get what's going to happen here um and and really for some of the the uh small kids it's kind of scary so uh i've always thought eh you know maybe it's maybe it's time for something different in there now now stay with me okay because uh you got avatar going into the animal kingdom and this what has what has everybody always wanted star wars land yes I want to put in Fantasmic, not not necessarily Star's, Star Wars Land, but Star Wars the Musical. Huh? Huh? How great would that be? Ewoks singing. <laughs> the, the Country Bear Jamboree <laughs> overlay. <laughs> yeah. You could just take some of the Country Bear Jamboree guys out of there and just, you know, a little bit more fur. Uh, <laughs> that Ewok looks like Big Al. Am I... <laughs> Am I going too far off off property here? I mean, that would be the the whole thing. Maybe maybe Star Wars on ice on the on the, on the, the water. The old Star no. Wars Christmas uh, disco yeah. spectacular. <laughs> oh, remember that? Oh, that was it. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Um, yeah, I I I think you got to remove it and, and put something else in there. And and uh, you know why not something Star Wars themed? It's it's a. Uh, you know, Hollywood Studios is supposed to be about the movies. Can't you put some kind of uh, uh, Star Wars theme, something or other in there, a, a show of some sort? You're- I would like to see that. And that's not really all that bad of an idea, considering in 2015 they got the new movie coming out. So, Right. You've got a lot to, lot to draw from there. So, uh, I, Although I don't know where the water would come in, other than that wonderful Jar Jar Binks character oh. with the waters. <laughs> oh. They're doing their best to get you to forget about <laughs> I know. Jar Jar I mean, Binks. Oh. I promise never to bring it up, and there I go, bringing it up again. Uh, that's all I got. That's all you got? Star Wars the musical in place of Fantasmic. I gotta be honest, Bob is correct. <laughs> Just because I want to see the Star Wars musical. I was going to go with you, Jason, but he sold it pretty hard. <laughs> oh, oh, did we lose him? That's, that's horrible. Are you there, Jason? Oh, I think he hung up. <laughs> he had enough. Oh. <laughs> Are you there, Jason? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. I'm back. We thought we offended you when we we chose Bob as the winner. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. I'm done. Said, I've had enough of these guys. Star Wars, the musical. I don't think so. <laughs> No, what I was actually saying was, you know, they've got the movie coming out in 2015, so maybe that's not really all that bad of an idea of coming up with some type of a musical. Because they're going to be looking for go. tons of uh, tons of promotion for that. I can imagine there's going to be like monorail raps. Oh yeah, bus oh, raps. Yeah, you better believe it. 
Oh man, there's there. Yeah, there could be some really neat monorail raps. Maybe some gangster raps. Oh, uh, you, you cry. I'm there's sorry. A, there are lines. You just <laughs> I just crossed that one too. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> All oh, right. Awesome. All right, we're gonna make our way down the uh, down the walkway. We're going to go to Tower of Terror. Ooh. 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 All right, Jason. Tower yes. of Terror. You have to remove it, rewind it, or refurb it. I. I Definitely wouldn't remove it. It's a very good ride. Yes. I would probably have to go the route of some other kind of a of a refurb. They've done refurbs before, kind of adding in where they have the, you know, depending on how many drops and all those types of things that you do. So along the refurb line is probably the route that I would go. Maybe, maybe adding in, um, I don't know, maybe like a 3D type of an element. Ooh. Uh, you know, some type of 3D glasses where things are coming out at you, maybe something like that. That uh, that might get tricky going up and down a lot, but uh, it might add a, an, a, an additional dimension, if you want to call it that. That's very cool. I have nothing wrong with adding some 3D. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. Bob, what are you uh, doing to Tower I, of Terror? I agree. You, you really can't rewind it because uh, what, had, you know, what it had before was... Um, uh, just not as many drops and and uh, not as varied uh, 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 an, an a, a ride with the different drops and rises and that. Uh, so I like the, what they've done, but yeah, I agree. I think the uh, the pre-show stuff as you're as you're in the uh, car and you're going up to the different levels and you're looking in the different hallways, you know, they could add they could add some stuff. Uh, there are so many different uh, Twilight Zone episodes that uh, be kind of cool if you could make it kind of like the Star Tours ride where it's a different ride every time, not just with the drops, but uh, the pre-show stuff, the, the pre-drop, if you will, uh, show that you get to see. Uh, of course, keeping the you know the uh, uh, the people in there that that theoretically were were caught in the uh, elevator during the lightning storm that that can stay but it would be there's so many different twilight zone uh, episodes out there it'd be kind of neat to see a, a different change uh, every time you ride the ride so i agree wow those are both great great answers however <laughs> here we go here we go they're both incorrect ow the correct answer is you do refurb it but you put in a non-drop drop for the wimps like me who don't like the sensation of free falling. You go up and you come back down slowly. Yeah, that is the that, correct answer. <laughs> oh, um, come on. You, you can do that at any of the resorts. Yeah, you know, I was going to say, go, go to the contemporary. <laughs> <laughs> if you want that ride. Uh, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, those are all, all really good, uh, good ways to uh, change that one a little bit. Uh, but I'm still right. And moving on. <laughs> <laughs> you want to ride an elevator. That's, woo, you crazy man, you. Uh, I'm a rebel. A rebel without a clue. <laughs> you you want a third uh, portion of uh, mission space, too. One that just doesn't do anything. Then. I don't want to no spin. I don't even no, want to tilt. No. <laughs> I want it to be a Barco lounger. <laughs> you, you want to sit there talking to Gary Sinise the entire time is what you want to do. He's a lovely man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh oh <laughs> moving on the rock and roller coaster starring aerosmith we're gonna Ooh. go with bob first so he can't agree with jason oh man <laughs> oh, jason's go. got see how i did that jason's got some great ideas he does. i just i think I'm, he's a hidden he's like a imagineer in training <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe he is. Yeah, holy cow! I just been riding his coattails. My gosh, <laughs> he's at the Oklahoma office. Uh, <laughs> we'll find out in like a week that they're <laughs> opening a Disneyland Oklahoma. Exactly. Um, <laughs> well, there is a Disney in Oklahoma. There's a town called Disney in Oklahoma. Oh, is there really? There really is. Oh, is it named oh after Mister Disney? Gosh, I, I, I think there's. It's tied in somehow. I'm not exactly for sure, but okay. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, rock and roller coaster. Uh, um, I would. Uh, there's no again, no re, no rewinding on it. Um, so I would go with. Uh, I, I would keep it. It's a fun ride. I would uh, refurb it to be now uh, we're, we're going to get a lot of uh, um, 
emails on this and voicemails on this, but uh, you got to go to Rip Ride Rocket over at uh, Universal, uh, where you can actually choose the song that you listen to while you ride the roller coaster. Oh, I love it. And uh, I love that. We we did that uh, a while back, and, and the kids just loved it because you can pick whatever uh, country or rock or hip-hop or rap or whatever you want uh, to listen to while you're riding this ride. Just you. You're the only one that can hear that, that particular song. Uh, so I think, you know, with all the Aerosmith songs that are out there, it would be kind of cool to be able to pick whatever song you want. It's, it's interactive. Disney's all about the interactive uh, right now with the uh, RFID bands and all that stuff. Um, I, I think that, uh, you know, they can make that a little bit more interactive, have little screens on the back of the uh, headrest, and you pick what song you want to listen to while you're riding a ride. Very cool. I like it. Aha! Now let's see who's riding these coattails. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, are you going to ride yeah, the coattails, or are you going to <laughs> top him? We're rooting for you, Jason. <laughs> I actually, I actually don't know how to top that. That's ex- that's along the same lines of what I was thinking. I think, you know, th- you know, like Bob was saying, you can't, you can't really go backwards, um, or maybe you could go backwards. Maybe you could actually flip the train around and go backwards. Ooh, ooh! The backup lights come on and off you go. I like that. O- outside of doing different music, I think that might be about <laughs> the only thing that you could do. With that ride. <laughs> But I do, I do love Bob's idea. Um, you know, something like that, or maybe doing, you know, top forties, or, or you know, you know, Disney songs. You know, there's a bunch of stuff from Tarzan or whatever else. You know, I don't know, something like that. Um, but I, you know, I think there's obviously some little tweaks. I, I haven't been able to do it yet, but the, from what I understand, the little uh, fast pass thing, thing that they're doing, um, where you get to watch a little video and sit down in a, you know, air conditioned room. I think that's a, a good thing that they're doing there. Um, but really, other than you know, maybe changing up the music and going with somebody else, that's about probably all you could do. I agree, I, uh, Bob. I really want to buzz you. You know me. I really, <laughs> no, really want to buzz no, you. No, you don't. I no, you I don't. Re- I really want to. You, <laughs> but I can't. You nailed it. What? You nailed it. What? Because I was thinking Aerosmith. I don't want to say they're passe, but you know, a lot of people are looking at him as like, no, that's the guy from American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't know which single band I would want to replace it with necessarily. <laughs> Remember a few years ago, somebody was suggesting like the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> and oh, Aerosmith oh, has outlasted. Please no. Please no. And that's what I said at the time. But uh, Aerosmith has outlasted the Jonas Brothers. Uh, oh, maybe Hanson we could throw yes. in there. It could be the Mbops coaster. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, that's an Oklahoma band. There Is it? You go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. From Tim Tulsa. Would, uh, Tim would like any boy band from the 80s would be fine. That the boy band fun. roller coaster. No. No. New kids on the give me, block. Give, <laughs> give me the buzzer. Give me the buzzer. <laughs> give me back the buzzer. Give me back the buzzer. Give me back the buzzer. <laughs> you are done. Uh, killing me. That would probably killing. be kind of odd. The boy band coaster. Uh, and you could choose. You, could, you know, you want new kids <laughs> on the block or uh, in sync. <laughs> no. 98 degrees exactly uh, 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 uh. was it not bad enough that the dapper dans did boy bands come on oh, uh, oh my they could be there God. for the opening of it <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that would be so wrong they could oh, do a my. throwdown with like the original boy bands <laughs> <laughs> so kind of like a uh, little west side story or uh um uh, Exactly, Ron, Bur- Ron Burgundy, and <laughs> they could have that fight out in the back parking lot. Oh, oh my god! I love it. We're going to stay with Sunset Boulevard real quick. <clears throat> All right. I want some input on the Toluca Legs Turkey Company. Are you pro Turkey Leg or anti Turkey Leg, uh, Jason? Oh, I'm pro Turkey Leg, absolutely. All right. Do you keep it as a Turkey Turkey Leg place? <laughs> Whose legs do you want, man? <laughs> what are we going with? Here? Well, they could probably go bigger. Maybe get like an ostrich leg. Oh, <laughs> uh, not the point. Well, they're kind of skinny legs, though, aren't they? I mean, aren't they really long, though? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if there's much meat on them, though. <laughs> Maybe like an elephant leg. <laughs> an elephant shank. 
<laughs> All I know is any of the turkeys that they get those legs from, I don't want to meet in a back alley anyway. Those are some pretty big turkey legs. My uh, gosh. <laughs> those aren't hormone free. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, my goodness. Those would be banned by baseball. <laughs> <laughs> What would you, if you got rid of the turkey legs, what would you do with all those t-shirts? Come on. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, shoot. Oh. You're killing me. All right. Before, I, I, don't know, I don't know that turkey legs are very, like, Sunset Boulevardy though. It, I mean, maybe it should be a little bit more upscale turkey leg. <laughs> oh. Skinless or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> here's here's your celery stick. <laughs> White meat turkey formed into a uh, turkey leg. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, uh, that is awesome. Definitely. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was a, that was tough. That, it wasn't that was, easy. Uh, no, no, because uh, Sunset Boulevard is pretty new, so that, that's a that's a difficult one. It is. But we managed to make it, and I think Jason, you still ended up winning. Oh come well, on! No, with with a tangle right there. I mean, it's, that, that yes. trumped everything. Tangled in Rapunzel. Ugh. We are going to make you an Imagineer. Awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't think I told you guys this in the open, but I actually I was in the in the college program there uh, about uh, about eight years ago. So. Oh, what'd you do? Yes. Right. I uh, operated Space Mountain. Get out of here. That's oh. pretty cool. Yeah. That, that is very really cool. Good time. Oh, yeah. So you got to see with the lights on and everything? Oh, yeah. It's 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 scarier with the lights on. That's what I heard. <laughs> you actually know like how close some of those beams and everything are. I knew it. I knew I was hearing him whistle by my head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how long were you there? Yeah. Uh, I was there for about about six months, uh, but I was there kind of a little bit over the summer. So you know, we got to see you know a few celebrities and stuff come in and out. Um, Michael Jackson, Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, trying to think of you know some of the other ones, but uh, some of those bigger basketball players and stuff. It's uh, uh, it was interesting before they referred that ride of actually getting people into those seats. Yeah, I'll bet Shaquille O'Neal is not a little man. No. I mean, if they're not losing their head hitting any beams, you know you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, really. Holy Well, cow. it's usually the legs. There's not a lot of leg room in those in those cars. Yeah. So, uh, and then you got to make sure that, that that buckle comes down and at least clicks once for it to be safe. So, uh, those were always interesting when those big guys come in. Wow. Call up the Orlando Magic. We're going to load test this ride. <laughs> Man. <laughs> You're not kidding. Holy cow. I mean, I'm 6'1", and I can barely fit in those things. I can't imagine those guys sitting in those. They must have been greased up. <laughs> they had turkey legs before they got in there. <laughs> they were rubbing down each other with turkey legs. <laughs> uh, uh, it smelled smoky yet appetizing. So uh, what was uh, what would be your fondest memory of, uh, of the college program? Uh, I, I was really just making kind of the friends that I had. I ended up, you know, they, they they have apartments and everything for you to kind of go into, you know, you have to pay rent and everything, but they've got all that kind of stuff set up. So it's really random almost, unless you have people that you know that are going of who you're going to be rooming with. So I just ended up with some, some good people. And then the other people that were working on Space Mountain were great. And I mean, they, they treat you really well. They'll, they have parties and, and different things. So uh, I mean, just the the whole experience, friendships, and everything that were kind of created. There's uh, the guy that was one of my roommates. I'm still, you know, friends with him today, and he's living in like China now. So, wow! Oh, wow! That's pretty cool. That is awesome. I've heard great things about the uh, college program. Would you recommend other people do it? Oh, absolutely! I'd recommend anybody to do it. I've I've tried to get like my brother-in-law to do it. Um, you know, I think anybody that's got got an opportunity to may take a semester off of off of school and go do something that's probably really just a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's uh it's worth every moment. Yeah, do it yeah. while you can. Absolutely. That that sounds awesome. I wish I could have done that, but uh at the time the university I was going to did not offer that as a as an option. So Disney just kinda ignored us. <laughs> did you talk did we ever talk about your story? 
uh, my story. But where you I, went yeah, to I try? Think, I think we I think we talked about it before. They I I actually went all the way over to Kent State University where they um, I waited and waited for an interview and they said so you go here to Kent and I go no I go to Youngstown State University and they said yeah they don't participate. And I said, yeah, but I don't care. And they said, yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I don't know if, it, if it's changed at all, but whenever, whenever I went in, they, they didn't necessarily care. They had interviews and stuff that they set up at certain colleges. But as long as you got yourself there and you had your paperwork and everything filled out, they would talk to you. Yeah, it, it changed like about uh, four years after I had uh, gotten out of college. They had changed it, and uh, Youngstown became one of the colleges that participated and all of that. So, you know, I just missed out on it. That's all. Yeah. Being too old. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> always, always my story. I'm too old. Now we just pay them so we can go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we pay them a lot. Yeah, yes, we, we do. do. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, that was the other great thing about it is, you know, you got off of work and you could just go ride a couple of rides before you went home. And it didn't really matter if you were only there for an hour or two. You weren't losing any money. You could just go do whatever. Wow. How often do you get back? Uh, usually about every about every other year. Oh, OK. All right. All right. Excellent. Very and, nice. Uh, any of the other parks you've been to? Uh, I've been to um, California, and that's uh, that's really the only other one. Yeah, I haven't been to any of the international ones yet, but I haven't been back to the California Adventure since they um, redid uh, a lot of it. So I kind of look forward oh. to maybe that uh, possibly next year. Yeah, Cars Land is a must see. It's it's just beautiful. I, I certainly hope I they do something. Yeah, I hope they do something like that at uh, the Disney Studios or something. Uh, down in Florida because it's it's very 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 cool so but can't wait to see it yeah um, just wanted to, to let everybody know too we uh, we started our uh, fish Sean Wu commando style touring of uh, the Magic Kingdom and uh, due to uh, uh, a few uh, issues that we had we weren't able to uh, to uh, pass along his latest information but that will be coming up. Uh, in a very near episode. So stay tuned for the second installment of Fish Sean Wu's commando style approach to the Magic Kingdom. Yes, we'll get that out to you. You haven't missed it. No, absolutely not. It is forthcoming. Yes. Excellent. So that's all I got, Tim. Jason, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Are you on Twitter or anything where you like people to follow you or locate you? Uh, I'm on Twitter and on uh, Facebook on Twitter as a uh, Osborne 82, O-Z-B-O-R-N 82. Very Excellent. nice. Everyone go follow Jason. Jason from Oklahoma. <laughs> and if thank you, you so much. Thank you, Jason. Oh, thank you're you. welcome. Oh, yeah. It was a lot of fun. If you would it like to fun. be on resortloop.com like Jason was, join the looper list over at the website. That's where we pulled him from earlier today. And he wasn't... Did you expect the call at all? Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sometimes we just throw it in last second. We decide we're going to do a show. <laughs> we send it out there, and hopefully we get a response. So, and, if, and the key to that was Jason uh, has a uh, Skype uh, login. So uh, if you if you want to be on the show, make sure you get uh, get hooked up with Skype because you never know when we're going to call. It could be a last second thing. We never know. We might tweet something out again. Right. Exactly. Excellent. Jason, thank you very much. That's all I got, Bob. That's all I got too. And uh, again, thanks so much, uh, Jason. Stay warm down there in Oklahoma. I will. <laughs> he doesn't sound too concerned. <laughs> no, it's going to get warmer there than it, uh, sooner than it's going to get warmer here. So. <laughs> exactly. Uh, anyway, you can find me at resortloop.com on Twitter. You can find us on the website, resortloop.com. And I'm uh, Resort Loop Bob on the Twitter and uh, Facebook forward slash Resort Loop. Don't forget our uh, listener line, WD, or, uh, 414. WDW. Loop. Excellent. And you can also catch us on the stitcher excellent you've been listening to the gateway to the magic resort loop.com see you everybody <laughs> we got a baba buoy and he hung up on us what was that what was oh, going let me on? see if i can get him here